Okay, we are done with the course video. Now we are moving on to what I call my least favorite section of um, the intro video, and that's policies. Uh, the reason, one, I have so many policies, and two, the reason I hate the policies section is because all of these policies are policies only because I've had a problem in the past. Now, um, I'm a big believer in solving problems before they become problems. So uh, every time I have a problem, I generate a policy around it. And hopefully everybody just knows going in what that policy is and um, I can just refer to it, right? Uh, the first one is perhaps the most important and troubling issue that I come across. And um, another reason I dislike this section is because you're going to see me pointing my finger um, and I don't know you, right? We're just meeting, right? It's, uh, you're probably very lovely people who would never try to pull a fast one this way, but um, uh, the first policy deals with plagiarism. Uh, given that this is a writing intensive course and has been for a long time, uh, you can imagine uh, a lot of people would try to pass the work of others, usually web pages, off as their own. Um, this, this is unacceptable, right? So um, I tend to be a tough cop on plagiarism. So what I'm going to do is read the definition um, from uh, the Policies and Procedures Manual section of the student handbook that you're responsible for anyway of plagiarism, say a couple of words about my course policy on it, and point you to some resources so that if you're unsure how to avoid plagiarism, those resources will train you. Um, so this is, this is very, very important that everybody pay attention to this part. Um, and again, you're probably very nice people and don't take my finger pointing as though it's um, an accusation because it, you see, this is the problem with plagiarism. It puts me in a prosecutor role, and I don't want to be in that role. I want to be your instructor. I want to explore these ideas, but I need to do this. Plagiarizing the work of others. Plagiarism is using someone else's work or ideas without giving that person credit. By doing this, a student is, in effect, claiming credit for someone else's thinking. Whether the student has read or heard the information used, a student must document the source of the information. When dealing with written sources, a clear distinction should be made between quotations, which reproduce the information from the source word for word within quotation marks, and paraphrases, which digest the source of the information and produce it in the student's own words. Both direct uh, quotations and paraphrases must be documented. Even if a student rephrases, condense, or selects from another person's work, the ideas are still the other person's and failure to give credit constitutes misrepresentation of the student's actual work and plagiarism of another's ideas. Buying a paper or using information from the World Wide Web or Internet, I love the redundancy there, um, without attribution and handing it in as one's own work is plagiarism. So, um, I'm not assuming even all plagiarists are malicious. Maybe they've grabbed some stuff from somewhere else, forgot where it came from, it didn't document their sources, and handed it in. Right? Well, that's not malicious plagiarism, it's unintentional plagiarism, and thereby still plagiarism. It's sloppy ac academic work, and it's still works out to, I didn't mean to steal the apple from the grocery store, but you still stole the apple from the grocery store. Six and one half dozen of the other, right? It's the act that's wrong. It's not the intentions that determine the quality of the act. And it's an interesting distinct distinction from the intro to ethics class. Um, so, um, it's on you to actually ensure you know what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. Now, um, down at the bottom, I've got two footnotes. One, to where I got that definition of plagiarism so that I, you know I'm not plagiarizing it. Um, and it's oakland.edu, um, the Policies and Procedures Manual, the student handbook. You're responsible for it. 
Um, second footnote uh, has to do with um, the site right or Kresge Library Plagiarism tut Avoidance Tutorial. Um, I've recently gone through again this tutorial. It's actually quite good. Um, it engages any number of topics. It's rich with examples. Um, there are embedded quizzes, etc., etc., etc. All right. So if you're worried about the potential of unintentional plagiarism, this will show you how to avoid it. It'll also teach you a citation method. Now, um, before you ask in terms of citation methods for my written assignments, I don't care. Use whatever you're comfortable with. If you're disciplined, if you come from the, 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 like the social sciences or something along those lines, and APA is what you use, do it, right? Um, if you're an arts major, MLA Chicago or Chicago um, might be more up your alley. ASA is also um, perfectly acceptable. Uh, I read them all. Right? I work as an academic writing advisor. I know how to follow them all. All I care about is that you are properly documenting your sources. That's all. Right? That's all. Um, but again, um, yeah, I'm going to warn you too, I've got this sort of weird knack determining, discovering plagiarism. It's not wildly hard to discover, all right? Not with the technology that's at our fingertips these days. Um, don't do it because I will find it and I tend to be a tough cop. I'm a tough cop for two reasons. One, I think it's important, right? Um, that two, though, right? Oakland University considers me an adequate judge of the quality of your work, but does not let me determine authorship. So it's just in my contract that if I think I've got a case of plagiarism, what I automatically have to do is pass it on to the Dean of Students office. They do a, a, an investigation, then there's a hearing and the sanctions can be quite severe. Um, you could get suspended. You could get suspended for the current semester. How that works is, you know how you're taking like five courses, you plagiarize in my course, they could pl uh, suspend you for the current semester. So you know your grades that you got, your other four courses, gone, right? Um, then you'd probably be on probation for the duration of your academic career. Um, and. Uh, automatic course policy, and this is just going to help you with your cost-benefit analysis. Um, one is zero tolerance, and two, um, you fail the course, right? Simple as that. Not the assignment, the course, the whole thing, right? Um, I can't determine whether or not you understand or have facility using this material unless you present me with some of your own work that shows that you know what you're doing with this material. If you don't do that, I can't grade your assignments. And if I can't grade your assignments, you don't get a grade in this course, you fail, right? Simple as that. Um, and again, I'm really sorry about this disposition that I have to, because you're probably really nice and we probably won't have any, if my ideal semester is no problems with this whatsoever. I got into this because I want to talk about the ideas. I want to interact with students about this. Right? So um, you don't do this. This is neither here nor there. Right? You're worried about maybe doing it. I've given you a resource, um, the, the site right, the Kresge Library plagiarism tutorial. Uh, don't go through the whole site right. Go through the tutorial. It should take about 40 minutes an hour or something along those lines. And it's useful. I learn things. I learn things um, going through it. Right? So, um, anyhow, plagiarism, finger wag, finger wag, don't do it, then we'll be fine. Okay? Um, I'm going to repeat this on every writing assignment, significant writing assignment we have throughout the semester. So, um, again, I'm just trying to solve problems before they become problems. Hopefully, I'm wasting my time talking about this. And you're just going to think and write. Now, um, one last thing. Unintentional plagiarism. I said that had to do with sloppy academic work. If you're not sure where your ideas are coming from, that means you didn't take sufficient notes and you didn't generate a working bibliography. Right? If you read something, write down where it came from. Right? 
Um, that's this is this is one of the skills that we're trying to develop at the university level: how to do rigorous research. Right. So um, it's important we get a move on that. Um, the missed assign assignment policy. Um, I sound really tough here as well. Um, in the unfortunate event that you miss an assignment due to a serious illness or death in the family, you must notify me either by phone with the departmental office or by email, um, either before the date and time in question or within 12 hours of the deadline or due date. Otherwise, I won't be able to offer an extension. All I'm saying here is that extensions require a conversation. I'm very open to having this conversation. I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm working two 65% jobs and I have twin girls, one with disabilities and some health problems. Life happens to me all the time. I get it, all right? And I am, of all people, going to be super, super flexible if life happens to you. I know you're probably all working jobs on top of doing school, um, on top of all of these obligations that you've got in order to just not be saddled with crippling debt once you're done, right? So I'm going to bend and I'm going to be flexible. It's one of the reasons we've got online courses because we can have a somewhat flexible schedule. If you contact me, you're going to get that extension that you need. You're going to get it, but you need to talk about that with me. Just don't assume it. Don't just hand me something late and hope I accept it. Have a conversation with me. I'm really nice, right? <laughs> okay. Um, assignment uh, submission. Um, your job is to get it to me, and my job is to get it back to you with comments. It's simple as that. Right. So assignment submission, you're going to be uploading documents to Moodle, um, you're going to be doing quizzes on Moodle, you're going to be posting the forums on Moodle. Make sure it actually posts, make sure the actual grade for the quiz occurred, um, and make sure that your file, the right file, actually uploaded to Moodle. Right? That's two things with regard to submitting a file to Moodle. Right? One make sure it uploaded. You can go back and check. Right? And secondly, make sure it's the right one because your, 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 your English language homework is not going to do me much good. Your analysis of Faulkner, while I find it interesting, is not a response to my Socrates Plato prompt. Right? So, I mean, your job is to get it to me and my job is to get it back to you with some sort of commentary and a grade. Right? And I will work very hard to do that this semester. All I need you to do is get me your work. Um, so that's assignment submission. All right. um, email. Email's not instant. Right? Sometimes I email the guy across the hall and I wait half the day for that guy to actually get my email. Right? So um, th these things happen. Right? It's not instant. Also, um, this semester, there are 105 of you and one of me with one, where is it? one way to get in touch with me. Right? I get a lot of emails. I'm going to fall behind. I'm going to labor to stay on top of it, but there are certain time-saving things that I do. If I get 10 emails with questions that are all the same, I email everyone. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to use my time efficiently so that everybody gets the responses that they need. Um, if, um, yeah, it, 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 it. also, all right, um, here's the thing about email. Uh, for this course, I require at oakland.edu emails. Um, that ensures that I actually get your email and allows me to search your emails if I need to look something up in a conversation history. Plus, uh, the OU email knows who you are. Right? So, uh, it shows it, I know exactly who I'm talking to in these emails. Uh, it makes it easier to find out what class you're in. So, um, that's why I need your OU email. So, activate those accounts and email me by then. I mean, if you're sending Gmail or Hotmail, if anyone still uses that, or Yahoo, I'm guilty of still using that. That sort of thing. Um, I, I I can't guarantee that I'm getting those emails. Right. So, uh, email from Oakland.edu. 
Um, discussion, dis, excuse me, discussion forum content policy. Um, we're talking, philosophers talk about all the things you're not supposed to talk about, like conversation, religion, ethics, marriage, love, sex, all of these things, and I'm likely to raise a topic that's going to be a hot button issue for some of you. And then, with the discussion forums, you're going to have to talk about these things with one another. The one thing I ask you to keep in mind is you're talking about ideas, you're not arguing against people. Don't make it about the person on the other side. Um, keep it topical and keep it classy. Those are the two rules. Right? This is all covered in um, academic conduct anyway. Um, two things to keep in mind about the discussion forums for these uh, your class. I'm going to say in a minute how I consider it your rough work area um, uh, for thinking through these ideas. Um, well, the thing is, right, I need you to use those forums as the academic tools that they are. Right? This isn't Facebook. It's not Twitter. It's not you're not texting a friend or something along those lines. It's it what. What you're doing is you're talking about Socrates on the Socrates forum, Plato on the Plato forum, that sort of thing. So if, hey, did anybody get their grades back for... Uh, that's not where that belongs. That's not where that belongs. That's that's a private message to someone else or something to post on uh, Facebook. If you want to start a Facebook group, that's fine with me. I don't care. But, um, it, you know, these forums are, are for discussing the material. All right. The second thing is, if I see anyone doing anything that could be construed as cyberbullying or intellectual bullying, right, that is, attacking the person rather than engaging the argument, if there's anything defamatory, derogatory, or in any way an attack on a student in this class, I will remove the post and sanctions will follow, and this falls under academic conduct as well. So, it, in a truly egregious case, the dean might get involved. Um, so, again, that makes me sound scary, but just it, it, it be nice to one another, right? That's, that's, that's all. Keep it classy, right? Keep it topical. That's all I'm asking you to do. In these forums, I've had very few problems. Right. The one problem I've had with the discussion forums over the past several years that I've been using them, nearly a decade now, it had to do with somebody jumping on, allegedly, somebody jumping on somebody else's laptop and typing something into a forum response. Well, that was my roommate that did that. You're responsible. If you walk away from your system, log out. Right? Anything that happens from your account, you're responsible for unless you're hacked, and then you report that to IT. Anyhow. Um, and then extra credit? No. No, it's, I, there's not enough time. There are a lot of you. There's one of me. I've got two jobs and twin girls and extra credit. It's just there's not room for it. What I'm going to do is lay out this course so that if you do the work and keep up with it, you're going to get a good grade. All right? So your job is to do the work and keep up with it, and um, I've laid out a very doable course for you, right? And I'm also here to help. So um, use the resources that you've got. Um, extra credit, I, I, I don't believe in it. Um, that said, um, these policies hopefully won't apply to you anyway because you'll be on top of things, you'll submit the right files, you'll not plagiarize, you'll do your own work, uh, you'll be classy and topical with your forum posts, and you won't need the extra credit anyway, right? So that's my hope for this semester, right? So um, that's the deal. Again, um, tentative class schedule with all of your dates right here. This is how you keep up with the course, um, and um, print a copy, hang it on your wall. So, oh, what's today? Oh, it's, we're in week four. I know what I'm supposed to be reading is Plato and watching these videos, etc., etc. So, um, that uh, is the course policy section of this. I hope you enjoyed that more than I did. <laughs>